Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. If you've watched the channel much, you know that I like to operate remote and portable. I like to get out to the parks. And often I treat my backyard like it's a POTA setup. I live in a homeowners association, so I'm always looking for quick deployment of vertical antennas. I wanna show you a new piece of kit today. It's small, it's lightweight, it's versatile, and it's going to go in my small go kit. We're not going to spend much time today talking about the various options in vertical antennas. We all know that we have many choices that we can pair up with our Wolf River coils. We know that we can pair the SS-17 from Chameleon and we can interchange them both between these pieces of kit. I'm more interested in how we're putting these in the ground. This is a fairly good representation both by brand and type of what's available to us out there in the marketplace today. So first up is my super antenna ground spike and mounting plate. The ground spike obviously just goes into the mounting plate. You lock it in place with a nut. And then it has the standard 3 8 by 24 receptacle for your antenna. The only thing I don't like about this setup, and by the way, I do like my super antenna. We'll be talking more about that in the future, is the flex that this spike has. Let's see if you can pick it up. I'm not going to keep going much further because I will bend this sucker in half. It must be aluminum, it's hollow, it's lightweight, but it's got too much flex. And when you get an antenna fairly high on this mount, you watch it flex simply sometimes because of that ground spike. Next up is my Chameleon Antenna's weapon. I mean ground spike. If you own this, you know what I'm talking about. This sucker doubles as a club. Um, incredibly sturdy. You are not going to flex this. You're not going to bend this. You're just not. So obviously it's got a little bit of a pointy end on the bottom. It's not terribly pointy. It's not dangerous uh, in the sense that you are going to, you know, if you poke yourself, it's going to penetrate your skin. To, I guess maybe depending on how much force. Off subject, back on subject. So great piece of kit. Works fantastic with the Chameleon Antenna's gear. It's meant to be attached with a something like your Cha Micro because once you install this in the ground, you have no other way to get your coax out to your rig. So that's a limitation of this, but I have some ideas on that I'll show you in the future. Great piece of kit, recommended. And most of you watching today know exactly what's still on the table in front of me. It is the small tripod for the Wolf River Coil. I'm holding the Silver Bullet Mini in my hands. It's my preferred own four of them. And then I have uh, one of the larger unit. You all know what goes on here, that uh, you're basically screwing the three legs of the tripod into this to get this um, erected in the ground and then your silver bullet mini is going into your 3 8 by 24 receptacle or you're putting an extension rod on it and getting your silver bullet mini a little bit higher up off the ground. It's effective. It works. What don't I like about it? Well, sometimes getting these fine threads into this base, I can't even get my... All right, that was effective. That plug is working great. Stop. I won't even do any more. There it is. Got it. Sometimes getting these threads lined up, that was probably as easy as it ever gets. Sometimes I can sit here for 30, 45, 60 seconds trying to get my threads aligned because I don't want to strip and cross thread. Um, it's an effective piece of kit. I, I do carry this with me many times in my small bag, but you also know that this is susceptible to wind. And once you get your antenna erected, you have to pay attention to how this tripod is erected you put some sandbags on it, some rocks on it, some ground stakes, some tent stakes. That's what a lot of people do. Some of you have the larger tripod and it is indeed less susceptible to the wind, but then you have a piece of kit that is a little heavier, just slightly because these are aluminum, I believe. Yep, solid aluminum. But then you have a piece of kit that is longer. And in my deployments, I attempt to keep my gear compact. Here's the new piece of kit that I purchased off of eBay, and I'll show you the details on that in the future. It is significantly smaller than my Chameleon Antenna's ground spike. It is smaller than the leg from the Wolf River Coil small tripod. It is smaller than the ground spike from the Super Antenna. End to end, the ground spike is eight inches. I'm really struggling to determine what the material is. 
it's it's fairly lightweight. If it were solid, I, I would expect it to be a little bit heavier if it were solid stainless. Perhaps it's solid aluminum that's been chrome plated. I can tell you that it has no flex to it. So I'm going to stop worrying and wondering about what the material is because it's pretty high quality. This is a piece of machined out billet that they have uh, made into the connector. When you put the ground stake with the connector, you end up with a piece that is a total of 11 inches. And of course, I'm more interested in how this fits into my kit. I was initially turned off by this when I first discovered it. I spent a lot of time um, surfing the internet looking for various ways to improve my kit and um, keeping lightweight and small footprint so that I can fit a lot of gear in a small space. That's just the way I think. I was turned off by the fact that this was SO239 on both ends initially. I didn't quite understand why they would do that. And I eventually let that go because I saw I wasn't gonna have an opportunity to um, convince them to do otherwise. It was already in production and they were selling it on eBay. So I simply purchased this adapter off of our good friends Amazon, which allows me now to have a piece of kit that works with what I would expect to be using with any 3 8 by 24 antenna. It also gives me the flexibility to work with anything that requires the SO239. So my toy box unit automatically works with this. So I actually have some extra versatility here that might come in handy at some point down the road. Let's talk price for this ground spike antenna connector. It can be purchased on eBay from seller BD7-Maple. I have zero affiliation with BD7-Maple. I thought it was useful. I'm sharing it with you. You can see it's $38 when I purchased it. It was maybe $41, $42. So the prices have come down just a smidge. Freight is included with this. Well, if you're going to use it with a 3 8 by 24, like most of us will, then you're going to need that connector. And that connector you can get on Amazon for $27.64. Uh, freight included if you're an Amazon Prime member. So now, what, the, what does that put us up to? So 27 and 38. So we're at $65, $65 for an antenna ground spike. And I first thought, gee, that's expensive. But I have purchased expensive things many times when they make sense for my kit. What other options do we have out there? Well, if you were buying the super antenna, you would be at $56 freight included. So $13 more for this new, unique, higher quality setup. If you are purchasing the Chameleon Antennas ground spike, you're at $59 to purchase that from Chameleon Antennas plus shipping and tax. And if you were purchasing the Wolf River coils, the small mini tripod, you're at $42. If you purchase the large, you're at $62 plus tax and shipping in both cases there. So when you think about it, you're pretty close to a wash to make a purchase of this antenna ground spike from BD7-Maple and add the adapter to it. So enough talk about all the features, the size, the cost. Let's get this thing out, stick it in the ground and see if we can make some contacts. Let's go ahead and get our ground spike all set up. And we're gonna go all in and put the Chameleon Antennas SS17 up on this ground spike. And if it can hold that, then I'm gonna be satisfied that it can hold near anything I need to put up. I'm going to use my Wolf River coil radials and attach them uh, on my screws for grounding on the spike. Be back to you shortly. Here we go. Get our coax in there first, because that stake is going to go all the way down into the ground. And there it is, SS17 fully deployed. All right, let's play radio. All right, let me give you just a little bit of a look of the breeze. 
and we'll bring the camera back down. Again, 10, 12, 14 miles an hour typical here in Florida this time of year, late in the afternoon. We're coming up on about four o'clock. And there's my SS-17 fully deployed, staying pretty stable in that small little ground spike. I'm, I'm impressed, I'm liking that. Kilo, Delta IV, Bravo, Mike Golf. Copy the 5-4, I have you 5-5 five five into Tampa, Florida. 73, have a blast. <laughs> First contact, I didn't even check the watts. Let's see where we are on watts. <laughs> One watt. <laughs> One watt. <laughs> One watt. How about we crank it up just a bit? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to 20. Let's see if we can do okay with 20. We did fine with one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. QRZ Victor Alpha 3 Zulu Victor. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. Kilo Delta 4 was a Bravo Mike Golf. Roger, Roger. You're 5 9 into Tampa, Florida. And Fox Lima, thank you very much and good luck. QRZ contest from all right, no question, working flawlessly. For those of you who've stuck around to this point in the video, I'm going to share some bloopers with you today. I always have far more cut tape on the floor than I do ending up in any one of my videos. So I hope you enjoy my stuttering and stammering. I always enjoy going onto the internet and finding better ways to operate. Smaller footprint, lighter weight, more efficient, faster setup, etc. I hope you found this helpful. I'll talk to you soon. 73. If you've watched much of the channel, you know that I like to operate. If you've watched the channel much, you know that I like to <clears throat> lack. <laughs> Next up is the, con okay, I have something delivered, out for delivery. And the highest percentage of you watching my video know what we have here. We have the tripod, the small tripod, not the large one, for the chameleon, nope, cut. <laughs> 